Hey everybody, this video is uh, just to show the Serato DJ software working with the Pioneer DDJ-S1 in case, you know, there's people that still have it and haven't got the uh, DDJ-SX but you can still, now, you can use the uh, Serato DJ software as well I'm going to show you a few little tricks uh, like if you want to go from the sampler, see all your different things, your sampler, record, and I think you press this button here, that's the area button, and so you have your record, your effects, your sampler, and back to just the library. So if I'm going to use a sampler, of course, put that screen on, I have a few songs in there already. And the pretty cool thing is that you can control it by doing this. You press the record button, all of your cue points will line up, or light up, I should say. And what you do is you, you press one, and it'll trigger that sample. Press it again, and you can adjust it, or you can have it that every time you press it, it just gives it a little burst of sound. Or you can just have it play all the way through. I use songs in the sample banks. So, And if you have them on sync, like you can select sync on each one. And if you're playing a song here, I'll play a song here. And this is coming out of the main, the main two channels. So now pay attention, if you press one of these songs that you have here on the sample, this is coming from the sample, I will, I will press it, maybe you can see it, and it triggers it. So I'm going to press on number three, the third one. So that's one right there. I'm going to stop the, the deck from playing. So you can just keep mixing away like that. The other channel, you know, the other, the other deck you can start to. You can make a nice long mix like that. You can loop your deck in case you just want to be. But as you can see, it works pretty good. And if you want to go back and stop the sample that's playing, you'll know which one is playing on your sample deck because it it blinks. And you like over this loop here and voila, it'll just get and um, what else? You press record mode again and you still have your your normal cue points. Uh, another thing too is with the roll. I guess when you have a uh, a loop, I haven't used this yet, I saw it on the Serato website, but you can no, not that. You have to press the shift at the same time. I can't do it either. Well, you well, let me try with one hand. One hand. All right, so that's. So you can that as well. That's something that I didn't do before with the Serato itch. So you hold. If you have a loop. So that's a little loop right there, I'm sorry that my selection, uh, but you can, so you hold the loop, the, I mean you hold the, the uh, shift button, and then you just, of course you're going to do it better than that, but you get the idea. Uh, that's another thing, and 
for the sample banks to control the volume on your song. You won't be able to do it from the controller, but if you have a little, a small, I'll show you right now, let me stop this song. Um, let's say you're playing a, a sample, one of these samples, which you can And you don't even, you know, you can play as many as you want. See, so the one that's blinking is playing. Alright, but what I was going to show you, I forgot. Okay. So you see four is playing so I have this assigned this MIDI controller it's a small little thing probably worth 40 40 to 60 bucks I don't know depending where you get it uh, and you can control the volume of that particular sample right here because it's MIDI mappable so you hook this up very easy to to set up so I have this to control the volume on sample one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I have this one for the main volume, the sampler itself. So it works out pretty good. And this thing is very cheap. You know, it's not an expensive thing, and you have control over your and you can you can assign whatever you want to these pads if you want extra control. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for now. But you can see all this in the Serato website, so it's, uh, it's not like something that I discovered. I just wanted to show everybody else in case they haven't seen it yet. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.